radio player device. So this is the box that the Lucky TV device comes in. As you can see, it's quite attractive and colorful. It shows the product. There's some of the apps it shows there. Um, there's also some accessories that it shows on the back and just some more features on the other side. So we're just going to go ahead and open it up right now. Uh, I'd like to mention that the packaging is actually really good, uh, which is nice to see it will ship properly. Um, what you'll find first here is the Wiki TV Quick Guide, which is important for just getting started right away. Uh, of course, the Wiki TV Manual comes included. And finally, the warranty card, which is important and you want to hold on to that. Um, and moving on here, uh, we're going to show you some of the accessories that come with the Wiki TV. Um, first of all, it's open. Uh, the first accessory is the CVBS cable, so for TV out functionality on older televisions. Uh, there's also the USB cable for transferring files from the computer. There's the FM cable as well, sorry, FM antenna. There's the AC adapter. And finally, there is the Wiki TV remote, which comes in handy for uh, just accessing content much quicker. So we're going to take the Wiki TV unit out of the box now and just move it to the side. Again, the packaging is really good on this. Um, it's nice to see. Uh, it is a delicate uh, device for sure, and it has to be packaged properly, so it's always good to see that. Um, so this is the Wiki TV 7-inch model, and we're just going to place it down here. And then up next, we're going to actually take a look at some of the great content available. So here we are, we've turned on the Lucky TV device, and you'll notice right from the get-go, the main menu is quite nice, it's easy to navigate using the directional pad with the remote. Uh, first we don't want to connect to the internet, otherwise we don't get any content. So we go to settings, network settings, pick our network type, which is either a cable internet connection or of course a Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is always recommended. Um, this is what this thing is built for. Um, and then you just click auto search, and uh, it just quickly searches all the available wireless networks in the area and then it will populate a list with them. Um, but we'll just go ahead and uh, just move forward on this so we can start to show you some of the cool content that's available on the Wiki TV device. Now that we've successfully connected to the internet, we can finally enjoy all this content. We're going to go to the Lookie TV app itself, and this is where you get thousands of free internet TV channels. And it's all broken down by countries and regions, genres, um, languages, you can search by keyword, and you can save your My Favorites as well, so you can return to something quickly. Um, so we'll just open up uh, Asia right now and open up China. We'll try to find a, uh, a Chinese TV station. There's actually a lot of content from China, which is great. And uh, we'll just navigate down to, uh, let's see, CCTV4 American International. That's a good one. Um, and I'd like to mention, you know, the buffer times are really good on this. Um, it's really impressive to see it. Go to the Lucky TV or Lucky Radio app now, and a very similar interface as you can see. Um, again, everything's broken down and categorized. We'll just go to um, we'll go to genres, and then we'll pick music. And uh, we'll see if we can find some uh, classical music. Um, there's over 30,000 radio stations available here for free. Uh, it's pretty incredible, actually. Uh, there's classical. And uh, we'll just open up the third one, classical music. Uh, that's one of my personal favorites, and I discovered that during my review of this, uh, this great device. also shoutcast for even more music. You can listen to a lot of free podcasts all the time as well. Lucky Sound is powered by the SoundCloud uh, music community, which is great. I'm going to show you the Blueberry app now. Blueberry is a place with thousands of audio and video podcasts from all over the world as well. Again, it's all for free. We'll just open up the editor's uh, picks section, and uh, Bleeding Edge TV is a great one. It's all about technology, gadgets, and whatnot. It's quite relevant. So uh, we'll just open up the first episode. Again, the buffer times are great, and uh, it's always nice to see that as well. Here in this edition of Bleeding Edge TV, we're going to be giving
and do a look at the Jawbone Jambox. The Jambox is a small, as you can see, it's pretty small. It is a, um, it's a Bluetooth speaker. It's portable. It's light, and but the sound that it emits. Um, there's also your llama for even more music. I'm going to show you right now the actually the MSNBC app, and this is great because you get five full episodes of, of NBC News every single day, and it's all for free as well. And we'll just open up NBC today, and uh, with these apps, again, uh, everything blows up quick, and it's just it's great. Morning. Breaking news, a fire breaks out on a nuclear submarine in Maine. Officials say there's no damage to the reactor and no nuclear threat, but at least seven people have been injured. This morning, a live report. New fallout. Congress gets involved in the investigation of Facebook's troubled IPO as new lawsuits are filed. But is it too little too late for investors who already bought the stock? And panic at the laundromat. We're learning more about what really happened when a man put a baby in a washing machine and it started spinning. Turns out he wasn't the boy's father, but his babysitter's... Well, there you go. And no one said the news was going to be positive. In fact, it rarely is. Uh, moving on to another great app, one of my favorites that I found was Revision 3. Uh, it's another source of more premium uh, TV shows, and it's all, again, free stuff. Um, one reason I like them is because they have one of my favorite internet TV series of all time, and that would be Epic Mealtime. Um, most of you are familiar with these guys, so we'll just show you a quick little clip of uh, these guys doing what they, what they do. And uh, actually, we'll just pick the... Uh, the first one, the bacon burger episode. Um, stuff is con is updated all the time, which is which is great. Bacon, how much bacon we get? What are we gonna get? That. No, no. We gotta get food. Uh, this. Advanced technique, bitch. Um, you know, just moving forward again, um, there's a lot of other apps here. Inmu is also good for a lot of movies and TV shows, uh, but we're just going to wrap up this review right now. You, you might as well just grab a device yourself. Uh, you can view photos, you can use the line in function and use the FM radio. Uh, there's a clock alarm as well. Um, of course, there's the powerful and great uh, feature, the TV out. And uh, there's LCD out, which is the built in display. And then the TV out option means you can plug in your TV into your HD TV or a regular TV via CVBS or HDMI cable. It's a powerful feature and a lot of people seem to love it. So if you want to grab yourself a 7-inch Lookie TV device, just go to GadgetsFactory.com and uh, you can go there and learn a lot more about this great device. Uh, we kind of scratched the surface. The URL is GadgetsFactory.com slash TV. Thanks for listening to our review, and we'll be releasing a lot more videos about the Loki TV device in the near future.